Okay, so we're going to do um, just a sequence of side-lying stretches just to kind of stretch out the back just in a gentle way. So get yourself ready, have your blanket in place, have a bolster underneath your knees, have a couple of blocks excuse me, from underneath your feet and then have a blanket from underneath your head. So we start off as usual in our side, sorry, in our um, basic relaxation pose. So just get yourself into position if you find it easier, if you find it more conducive to relaxation, then cover your eyes with an eye pillow. I'm not sure mine is. So just cover your eyes just to create a little darkness. And then release into the floor. Allow the body to let go, sink into the ground. If you're not comfortable, then adjust. Just allow yourself to release into the floor, giving yourself permission to relax. Remember, if you don't feel comfortable, then adjust your position until you are comfortable. Just observe how the body is connecting to the ground and to the equipment, to the bolster and the blocks. How your head is connected to the blanket. attention into the soles of the feet. Draw your attention into the soles of the feet. And then allow the soles of the feet to completely relax. Draw your attention into the soles of the feet and then consciously allow the soles of the feet to relax.
draw your attention to the top of the foot so that the skin at the top of the foot becomes conscious and active. And then relax the tops of the feet. Letting the muscles spread across the top of the foot. Draw your attention into the shins. And then consciously relax the tops of the feet, just letting the muscles soften across the top of the foot. Draw your attention into your shins. And then relax in the shin so that the shin bone sinks into the calf muscle. And then relax the shins and draw your attention into the thighs. Relax the shins by sinking the shins into the bed of the calf muscle. Relax around the kneecaps. To allow the fronts of the thighs to sink into the backs of the thighs so that the whole of the leg relaxes into the ground. Drawing your attention into the pelvis and your torso. around the abdomen and the pelvis, consciously allowing the front of the abdomen to sink into the back.
relax the pelvis and the abdomen and draw your attention to the chest, Just feeling the rise and the fall of the abdomen with your breath. deep exhalation allow body to release into the ground release the torso into the ground and be conscious of your shoulders and your forearms and your lower arms. Observe how your shoulders and your arms make contact with the ground and then consciously relax your arms into the floor. Relaxing the upper arms and the forearms and the backs of the hands. Letting the arms relax into the ground and then draw your attention up through the neck to the face. And then relax the neck and the muscles around the face, around the forehead, around the eyes, around the cheekbones, around the jaw, just softening the tongue in your throat. And allow yourself to release into the floor. Release the neck and the eyes and the forehead and the cheekbones just allowing the body to yield to gravity.
just allowing the body to just bask into the floor, just relaxing completely into the ground. Just enjoying this feeling of utter release, just reviving your energy from the inside. Ready to disturb yourself, just gently wiggle, wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. Bring the bolster onto your, bring your feet onto the bolster with the feet apart and the knees together. And then gently roll yourself over onto your right side, just stay down for a breath or two. And then straighten out the top leg, just bring yourself up into seated position just sitting in cross legs just with your hands on your knees and just observing how your energy has changed okay we're going to do a couple of stretches just to kind of open up the chest so have a bolster for 
underneath your back. You can always make a little ramp with a couple of extra blocks for this. So this makes, just makes it a little more comfortable. So I have a block long ways like that, and then a higher one. So you've got this little, this little ramp, just make sure it feels kind of relatively secure. Make sure that's right in the middle of your mat. And then just bring the feet into this butterfly position. Sopta Badakanasana. Lift up into the chest and then guide yourself back down onto bolster. If your head rolls back, then put a blanket over the over underneath your head. And cover your eyes. Just let the knees fall apart. If there's stiffness in your knees, you can put some blocks under the thighs. Just lay back and just focus on long, slow, deep, deliberate inhalations and exhalations. So as you know, as we progress into the sequence, I'll speak less and less so that you can just use the time to relax. So whenever you're ready, just Allow yourself to sink into the floor. So this pose just helps to open up your energy by gently opening up the chest. Staying in the pose just gives you extra confidence to extend a little deeper.
okay when you're ready just move the eye cover in push your hands into the floor and then just push yourself up into cross legs just hold onto your knees for a moment just observe the energy that you have released through your practice okay we're going to do our side lying stretch so this is just quite a a relatively gentle stretch you can make it more intense but it doesn't need to be intense so you can just gonna have a bolster along um, just long ways long uh, no, this this way and then you bring the top of the hip just onto the onto the bolster so the side of the um, abdomen is just sitting on the bolster and then you just stretch your legs out you stay on your side and then just gently stretch out initially and then yield to gravity so try and stay on your side so the upper side feels like it's getting a good stretch the lower side just helps you to relax So as ever, the aim isn't to actively extend at all. The aim is to relax and let the bolster do the work for you. Okay, bend your knees, just roll onto your front, push your elbows into the floor, and then just come onto your knees, and then just sit back on your heels. Just observe how that pose has stretched out your back. It'll feel a bit uneven, so we need to do the other side. So just come onto your other side, again just... So it's the, it's the um, abdominal wall that is really sitting on the bolster. And then stretch your arms out so you're resting on your other side this time. 
and then once you've had a good stretch then just allow the body to relax so this is really good for back tension just staying in position helps to use gravity and the equipment to release. And then gently roll onto your front, push your elbows into the floor, come up onto your knees, and then just sit back down onto your seat bones, just observing your energy, observing how the back has been stretched out a little. We're going to do the child's pose, the supported child's pose. But if you've got two bolsters, then use both of those. So you've got the bolster between your knees and um, the bolster sitting on top. If you've only got one bolster, then you can put some blocks like this and then put your bolster on top of that so that you've got a little bit of extra height. And then you're just going to lift the chest, lengthen the front chest along the bolster, rest your arms, just let your arms hang to the side, just try not to support your weight with your arms, 
and then just let the body just release into the floor. So you have your head on one side. So we're going to just alternate the position of the head as we stay. Just stay for a few minutes on one side, then on the other. So again, just release into the bolster. So this pose just stretches out the back in just a different way, giving the back space. Don't forget to swap the position of your head. Swapping the head from one side to the other. And just swap the head onto the other side so that there's been an even stretch on the neck.
Okay, bring your hand underneath your shoulders, push yourself up into a seated position. Just sit back on your heels. Just observe your energy. And then just come off. Just move the bolsters out of the way. Just bring one bolster for underneath your knees, the other for underneath your head. And then just to finish the session with our basic relaxation pose. Just the pose that we started with. Just feeling how the floor gives you a feeling of openness around the chest. Just allow yourself to completely release into the floor. Remember if the pose isn't comfortable then just adjust until it is. Just consciously let go of the muscles of the arms and the legs. Go of the muscles of the arms and the legs so that the body just completely flops into the floor, becoming heavy on the ground. And then, when you give in to that heaviness of the physical body, a feeling of lightness will radiate from bones and to the muscles. into the ground, feel the lightness of your energy radiating from the bones and into the muscles and into the organs, that feeling of light energy radiating into the organs. Just allowing that feeling of light energy to radiate into the flesh and into the skin. Using your in breath and your out breath to distribute it down into the toes and into the fingers 
and all the way up into the top of the head. Just a feeling of positive well-being radiates into the body into the body And then when you're ready to disturb yourself, just wriggle your toes, wriggle your fingers. And then bend your knees, bring your feet onto the bolster, have the feet apart, the knees together. Just rest in your back into the floor. And then very gently roll over onto your right side. Just stay down for a breath or two. And then stretch out the top leg, come back up into a seated position. Just a final cross legs with your hands in the mastic, just a final spinal lift. Draw your breath in through your nose down into the abdomen. Be conscious of the energy that you have released through your practice. This evening, that good, positive, healthy flow of clean energy that the relaxation poses bring to the body and to the mind. And then very gently draw your chin down to meet your chest. Just acknowledge the positive energy you've created inside. And then send some of that positive energy out into the world. Gently release the backs of your hands down towards your knees, palms facing upwards. Just bring the tip of the index finger in contact with the tip of the thumb, just gently stretching the other fingers away from the palms of the hands, a gesture of peacefulness and wisdom that we can bring into the rest of the day. And then as you raise your head, allow your eyes to softly open and focus to softly come back. Thank you very much. Thank you. So hopefully you feel like you've really lifted your energy and stretched out your back a little and give yourself a good energy for the rest of the evening. Thank you very much for joining me.